Should we all dump our Facebook pages? <laughs> uh, no, but you might want to think about what your Facebook page is doing for you. Do you think that, um, like Facebook's just one example, and just our, we're putting out little ego memos, or I don't know if it's ego memos. Memo. That's a great <laughs> phrase. <laughs> it's something like we're using the material values to try to get attention so that we can show someone our intrinsic value. Mm -hmm. Is it because I don't believe I actually have it or I haven't really, really embraced that yet? Like why, why am I using material things to try to get attention to the big picture mm -hmm. to get that? Well, it's not, a, it's not a thing between material and spiritual. Everything is just made of the same thing. It's more about how limited that expression of value is. So, and how, how reliable is it? You put out a great selfie of yourself on Thursday, but Thursday afternoon you still worry about how you look. You know? <laughs> I mean, it just doesn't work. <laughs> so we're trying to feel valuable. We're trying to feel beautiful and interesting. And, uh, but what we're doing it with is things that are just, it's totally impermanent. <laughs> However, our, our real nature is not impermanent. So, if you were feeling that real nature more, you could still be on Facebook, but you might be simply expressing your inspiration to people, you know, to help them, rather than showing off. Isn't that another ego thing? Not I'm doing this because it might help you be more interesting. Something. Like well, the <laughs> desire to relieve other people of suffering is a natural desire. Hmm. It's not. It does, it could be egoic, sure, absolutely. You know, if you have. What do you mean? I just tried to help you, but so why do you still have that problem? <laughs> <laughs> that would definitely be an egoic thing, right? But if you're simply expressing natural compassion. That's not egoic. That's an aspect of reality itself. The compassions and concern and care are really built into reality. They're not individualistic. They're not egoic in the sense that you're talking about. They're actually built into the fabric of reality. Those, those virtues like compassion. So when you are more relaxed and your senses are more open and you're less subject to limitation, Compassion just comes pouring out of you, naturally. You don't have to think about it. It's not something that you're shopping to somebody, right? It just happens. <laughs> it is possible to share things with other people and communicate without it being a book. You know, we say that the, this reality, this alive aware reality has created all of these experiences. These are experiences of communication. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> so Facebook's just an aspect of that uh, pleasure of the divine in communication, and having an experience of communication. It's the same thing as why this entire reality exists. It's just that it's more limited, that's all.